for faster crawling and indexing, use Google's API. Friends today I will show you how to crawl blog posts quickly using Google API. This is the right method of fast indexing in Google, in this case, we will work completely through Google. We will not use any third-party plugins or websites in this regard. For this, first search Google Cloud. After that go to cloud.google.com website. In this case, sign into the Google account that has the Search Console account of your website. After that select the console from here. Give a tick mark to the Terms of Service. Then click on Agree and Continue. Then click on Select a Project. If no project has been created here, click on New Project to create a new project. Then give your website name as a project here. After that click on Create. After the project is created, click on Select Project. Here the project will be selected, then click on the three bars. From here go to I am Admin section. After that click on Service Account, then click on Create Service Account. Here, under Service Account Name, enter your website name. After that click on Create and Continue. Here in the Select a Role option, select Owner. Then click on Continue. After that click Done. Then copy the Service Account email address from here. After copying the email address, you will come to the Google Search Console. After that go to Settings from here. After coming to Settings, click on User and Permissions. Then click on Add User. Paste the service account email address here. After that select Owner in Permission. Then click on Add. A new owner will be added here. After that, you will come back to the I am an admin section. Then click on the three dots of actions. Select Manage Keys from here. After that click on Add Key. Click on Create New Key here. Here JSON is recommended by Google so leave it. Then click on Create. After that, a JSON file will be downloaded to your computer. Please don't close this page yet. After uploading the JSON file, here we will do some more work. To upload the JSON file downloaded here, WordPress users can use various third-party plugins. But in this case, I would like you to upload the file through Google Collab and do all the work here. This will result in good results. For this, first search in the browser, Google Collab. After that go to collab.research.google.com website. Cancel it from here. Then upload the IPEN file here. I will give the download link first in the comment box and the description box. You can download it, after downloading the IPEN file, Click on File and select Upload Notebook. After that click on Browse. Select the downloaded file from here and click on Open. Here first you need to connect to Google Drive. Before connecting to Google Drive, the downloaded JSON file needs to be uploaded to Google Drive. For this, go to Google Drive and click on New to upload a new file here. After that open the JSON file. The JSON file will be uploaded to Google Drive, then you will come back to Google Collab. Here first you need to connect to Google Drive, for this click on Run. Here, give a tick mark on Select All. After that click on Continue. You will see a tick mark here, which means it is connected properly. Then there is, provide complete path of the API key here. After giving the path location of the API key, click on run. Click on the file for this. From here go to drive. After that select my drive. Then select the JSON file of the API key. For this, click on the three dots of the file. After that click on copy path and copy the path location of the file. Then the path location of the file should be pasted in the API underscore path cell.
After pasting the path of the file here, click on run. After clicking run, you will see a tick mark if everything is okay. Next is provide site URL and update request type. Here in the site URL field, enter the URL of the blog post and click on run. After that, I came to the control panel of the website to copy the URL of the blog post. Now check this URL first in the search console. After checking the URL I see URL is not on Google. That is, the URL is not indexed in Google. Then I am copying the URL from here. After that, I came back to Google Collab. Here the URL of the blog post should be pasted in the site URL. URL underscore updated should be placed in the request type field. After that click on run. Here after clicking on run, we can see the tick mark, which means our work is completed correctly. Now we have to delay for 5 to 10 minutes, within this time our post will be indexed. 8 minutes later. After that, I came back to the search console. Here after checking this URL, it showed URL is not on Google. Copying this URL again. Now check this URL again in the search console. Here we can see the URL is on Google. This means our blog post is indexed in Google. Now if we look at the page indexing report, we can see that our blog post was last crawled on April 22nd at 2.39 p.m. Now if you look at the net time of my PC, you will see that it is 2.43, that is, the page was indexed 4 minutes ago. After that, if there are more unindexed posts on your website, copy the URL of the post. And come to Google Collab paste in the site URL field and click on Run. Here put URL underscore updated in request type. After that, bookmark the page in the browser. Copy this URL and keep it in Keep Notes or Sheet, so that you can come directly to this page later. Problems and Errors Solution Coming here after a few days, sometimes after pasting the URL of the new post here and clicking Run, it shows an error. In this case, click on Connect Your Google Drive Run. Here the tick mark will appear. Then click on Run On, provide the complete path of the API key here. Here the tick mark will appear. Finally, in the site URL field, click on Run after entering the URL of the blog post. Here the tick mark will come and the article will be crawled. 403 indexing API has not been used in the project. For this, go back to the page where you downloaded the JSON file. Then click on the three bars again. From here come to the APIs and Services section. After that click on Enabled APIs and Services. From here click on Enable APIs and Services. Then search the index here. After that click on Web Search Indexing API. Enable the Web Search Indexing API from here.